YouTube is Type Support Gone Bad, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys a cool trick that you can do in Adobe Photoshop. Now, most people don't even know that this trick exists or that you can even do this in Adobe Photoshop, but the truth is that it does exist. Yes, it does exist, and that it comes in handy a lot, and it's a big time saver. So, the trick is one click photo editing, otherwise known as custom shortcut keys. So, let's get started with the tutorial. So today I want to resize this image. So how to do that? I would go to image, image size, and then resize my image on what I want. In this case, I want the width to be 500 pixels and the height to be 500 pixels, and I'm going to press OK. And just like that, the image resizes itself. Nothing too hard. Um, it's not that way big of a waste of time, and it's pretty simple. But let's say I want to do this to multiple images. Here I have like a couple images, five images to be exact, and I want to do this to all of them. And that's when the waste of time comes in, and it's going to be more and more time consuming with the more and more images that you have. So this is where this little trick comes in handy. So I'm going to put that back to normal, and let's get started on learning on how to do it. So to be able to make your own custom shortcut keys, you want to first of all make sure that your actions window is open. So you want to go to window and click on actions. Once it is open, you want to locate the actions window, go to it, and then find this little folder icon. Now you want to click that folder icon to create a new set of actions. This is just stay organized. So I'm going to name it custom shortcut keys. You can name it whatever you want and I'm going to press OK. Next, I'm going to uh, press this little button right next to the folder icon button to create a new action. So press that. I'm going to name it uh, resize image. I'll put a little dash and put it to and type in 500 pixels. Okay, and then for the set, I'm going to put it in custom shortcut keys and we could set a function key for it. So this is where you could put F2 through F12. So in this case, I'm going to put F2. And you could even choose if you want it to be pressed with Shift or Control or even both. So you could either just set it to be once you press F2, this action happens. Or once you press Shift and F2, this action happens. Or Shift, Control, F2 or Control and F2. And you just have that little thing right there where you could choose whichever one you want. And you could color code it to red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, or gray. You could color code it just to stay organized. In this case, I'm just press none. And I'm going to leave the function key at F2. And once you have everything here um, set to what you want, you want to press record and then record that action. So I'm going to press record and then go to image, image size, 500 width, 500 height, and press OK. And then I'm going to come down here and press the stop button. And just like that, that shortcut key for that action is set. So let's give it a little test run here. Let's go to this image and just press F2. Just like that, the image has resized itself. This image, F2, resized itself. This image right here, oops, uh, this image. F2 resize itself. See, there's one more back here, right here. F2 resize itself. Just like that. Very, very simple. Custom shortcut keys, just like that. And this comes in handy a lot, especially when you have more and more images to work with. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it helped you guys out in one way or another. As I said, this can be a very, very big time saver. And if it did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash techsupportgonebad. And visit my website at techsupportgonebad.com for exclusive content. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.